Hey, Hobby World, Zach and Porter back with another birthday appreciation video. Yeah, two guys, we PC. Pee Wee Reese was born on this day in 1918. He lived to the age of 81. And then Gary Payton turns 57 today, July 23rd, 2024. So uh, both Hall of Famers in the respective sports. We enjoy picking up their sports cards. Obviously, very different eras of collecting, but we thought we would take today and make this an opportunity for us to share some of our favorite cards of Pee Wee Reese and the glove, Gary Payton. We're going to start with Pee Wee Reese, and you've obviously loved Pee Wee as he was... Uh, a huge influence when Jackie got into the league yes, um, and helped break down some of those barriers. And you are fortunate enough that you have an all-time amazing card of Pee Wee Reese. 1955 Bowman Color TB. I love this design. The archives, I think, put a design out of it in 2020. And I think you Super got that cool. from George, correct? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, KBO uh, Collections. Uh, that was... One of your earliest racks, just a phenomenal card. He has tons of great vintage, so uh, just a beautiful piece for your collection. This is a Topps Vintage Legends card. Obviously, he would have not had a card in 2003. This is kind of high-grade TCMA, I think. One of those kind of insert sets. This is him with Jim Gilliam. Uh, this one is a Pacific subset. Yeah, and Pee Wee's actually in the bargain boxes quite a bit. A lot of cards like that. So you've had a great time picking up uh, a lot of what you're showing today. And when I see this picture from afar, it reminds me of Mark McGuire. I can can see you kind of see that? I can see that a little bit. Here's a mini from Upper Deck. Yeah, after the play ball sets. Ah. I got it. Thank you. Uh, this is an Upper Deck Pastime Pennant. Nice card there. Another Upper Deck Classic. Diamond King. Love this next one with the Sapia. Top Stadium Club. And the next one, this came out a few years ago, right? It was uh, Topps Heritage Minor Leagues. 2022, uh, it doesn't say that. I think it's... I'm pretty sure that's the same Heritage set. It's Heritage Minor Leagues, Yeah, it was sure. the same set where Dion, Tim Raines... Bo was in it. Yeah, they had a bunch of cards, and that's from the Louisville Colonels. I think Canerco was also in that yep. set, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and Pee Wee's from Louisville, Kentucky. I know he passed away there as well. Topps Gallery. This is a really cool reprint set. I think this is from 2021, the 70 years. Here is a 60 years of tops. Allen and Ginter. High grade, and this is the no logo visible variation. Mm hmm. Gotta love those uh, variations. Love this next one. Um, this is a 2019 Archives. Archives and Heritage always bring back the old designs. And Alan Ginter is just plain cool. Mm -hmm. Same thing um, with the 35th anniversary. Speaking of 35th anniversary, this is Archives, but this is one of the recent 35th designs. Um, this is a Think Upper Deck. Mm hmm Pretty sure that is. An Allen and Kempter Mini. Tops 2009 Turkey Red. This is a Mini from 2013. Yeah, we found those in the bargain box. Found a few really cool ones of those. I like how Panini Diamond Kings put out a lot of cards with all-time grades. Here's another Vintage Legends card. Yeah, I've been trying to put that set together slowly but surely. I kind of stopped it. In the, I've been kind of iffy lately, but maybe I'll start putting that set and back And this together. is considered the coolest card of all time. This. 
Who's he jumping over? Do you know? I have no clue, but that's a reprint. Because if that was the regular, you wouldn't be manhandling that with those <laughs> bare hands. Then uh, this is cool. Top Sail and Ginter Black. Here is another reprint. This is from that same set as the one where he's jumping over the person. And those came out late 80s, early 90s. Actually, huge. that's not the same set. I think that may be a different year. Here's another Diamond King from 2015. And last but not least, out of $7.99, Tier 1. And I think this is actually from Greg Clark, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, numbered out of... $7.99. So now we transition to the glove out of Oregon State. Some of these cool Star Picks cards. I think these are from 89. Uh, and then a bunch of prospects there. Lionel Simmons, Derek Coleman, uh, Felton Spencer, I think that was. Byron Scott and then Gary Payton. He was the best out of all of them. We got his rookie card from Fleer. We've got the Fleer 91 Rookie Sensation sticker. And I always love this with the telephone, the hoops rookie card. Picked, Lottery pick. Picked that one up when I rejoined the hobby. And then this one as well. This was such a hot card back in the day. Gary Payton, rookie card from Skybox. And I believe the Supersonics, if you did not know this, turned into the Thunder. That's right. 1992 tops. And love the early Fleer Ultra. Great card there of KG trying to guard him. Got a nice die cut here. 1996 NBA All-Stars. From Slam Magazine, which I always picked up back in the day. Another die cut here from the SPX. And I picked this one up at the bargain box just because I thought it looked cool. It's got like a Dr. Seuss hat on. Bam, bam, Tops, bam, or excuse bam. me, Flare Showcase. I always get that in Tops Cold Label confused. Nice and shiny. They do look similar, actually. Stadium Club Hardcore uh, Heroics. Then we've got a 1990 Tops reprint card from Archives. A great Fleer metal card. Tops uh, embossed, but this is the gold variation, obviously. Then we got the Skybox EX, so the see through. And, and then some modern. Two mosaic variations. This one is the green and pink on the right, and this one's just the green. And then the Fearless from Prism. I thought that was a super, super cool card there. So uh, two birthdays to celebrate. Gary the Glove Peyton, Pee Wee Reese, uh, both born on this day, July 23rd. We've had a lot of fun uh, looking up some of the events and birthdays and sharing some of the cards from our PC. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Bye-bye.